in this video welcome i'm pj Tudor. we'll be looking at chemistry uh, revision this is a 2020 science paper 2 final exam question b7 that's what i'll be answering so this is question b7 science it says use uh, atoms of element a and b have 8, 17, and 20 electrons. So me have drawn in this form of a table. Using the letters, construct a chemical formula of a compound between A and B that is formed when A and B combine. So how can you find? When you look at A, A has 8 electrons, while C has 20 electrons. So when you write in the electronic configuration for A, it will be 2, Six. Wow, well, for twelve for twenty for C it is two comma eight comma eight comma two. Therefore we know that this element is found in group six while well, this element is found in group two. For this one being found in group two, you know that it's a metal. For this one being found in group six, we know that it's a non-metal. Hence we know that this one is gaining electrons, this one is losing electrons. So this is, is gaining how many electrons for it to have eight electrons? It's gaining two electrons for it to have eight. This one is losing two electrons so that it can remain with eight electrons. So you can say A needs two electrons while C is losing two electrons. Like that. So the compound formed, this one comes there, this one goes there. So this becomes A2. C2. Now these are just the same ratio, so the compound formed is just SC. They're saying you are just using letters. Then they're saying elements B and C can react to form a compound. Continue. B says elements B and C can react to form a compound. Now it says, one says, name the type of bond uh, in the compound. First, B, we know that it's an animator. We're just from finding out. <clears throat> Sorry, we didn't find for B, so we need to find for B and confirm that it's an animator. B has 17, so the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 7. Yes, it's being found in group 7, it's an animator. Then C, we already found that it was a metal because it was found in group 2. Now, this is a nonmetal. This is a metal. Name the type of bond in, uh, in the compound. What do you think is, a com is the bonding between metal and nonmetal? So the answer is ionic bond. The question says bond, not bond. Or can say electrovalent bond. bond so that's the ionic bonding a bond between metal and non-metal we call it ionic bonding then it says state one physical property of the compound what do you think is the physical property of this compound now i will write it from here one of these all ionic compounds in short is that they have high melting points that's a physical property. High melting points. They have high boiling points. They are crystalline in nature. All those. They are crystalline in nature. There are also others such as they conduct electricity in, in uh, only in modern state. All right. They are soluble in water. Those kind of. C says, draw the electronic structure of the compound formed when atoms of air combine. Now this is the element, and this element has been given these electrons. Now we talk of atoms of, of element air combining. Now this is a this is an element. So when atoms of element air combine, what product do they form? This is the non-metal, by the way, the, like which you don't have. 
so when they combine what do you think is what they are going to find and we like we, we, we've been taught to draw the electronic structure now this is the electronic structure for this compound so far like because it has got then let's put NP there. Six electrons in the outer shell and two electrons in the first shell. So this is the electronic structure. Now when these combine, all right, when these combine, of course, they're going to form a molecule. They're going to form a molecule when these atoms combine. Because you know that when atoms combine, they form molecules. And it being a, a molecule, the... It's going to have positive charges also, as well as uh, negative charges. And m most of the positive charges are concentrated in the nucleus there. So it's just going to form a lot of, uh, of these. So it's going to form a, mole a, a molecule. Now this kind of molecule, for example, we say, let's say A combined just with A. It's going to form O2. Now this atom is just oxygen, so it's, it's going to form something like this, it, it being a molecule. So now, you're going to start, you're going to form a bond like this, where there, there have to be a sharing of electrons, so that each of them can accommodate a certain number of electrons. So this is A, and that is A. So when this one loses, two ele loses one electron to here, donates. Even the other one, it has to donate. Now this one, this one, remember in the outer shell has got six, even this one has got six. But since this one has don don donated one, and this one has don donated one, we have remained five, and this one has also remained what? With five. Now when you try to add uh, five plus two, it's, going, it's giving you seven, not eight. So this one donates again, and this one also donates again. There are four, and here we have four. So when you do like that, you'll mean that you see that we have eight electrons here, we also have eight electrons here. So this is a compound formed. Actually, just the, it's the covariant compound which is going to be formed. And further says, give one industrial use of element of element B. Now, element B, when you look at it, element B, it's uh, it's 17. And when you look on, on the product table, an, atom, uh, an element with atomic number 17 is actually chlorine. So what is chlorine used for at industrial level? So, so it's used in the treatment of water. Treatment of water, which is to purification of water. There are a lot of uses of uh, chlorine at industrial levels, so... Uh, like that so that's the question which i had for you so uh, if you have the 2020 science paper 2 that's chemistry uh try just to go to question b7 you're going to find this question and these are the answers so thank you so much for watching us in the next video i'm pvs the tutor